referring to it as a quad and a quad, so uh, it's just something I made up. I don't want you to think that there's some cool new buzzword out there that you didn't know about. And anyway, you can see it's just, it, I use it for creating loops and changing the flow of things. And I took it up into here. And for instance, we got this here. Um, let's go ahead and, if we delete this face, X faces, and then we add a division right here, which it won't let us. Just subdivide that, it's all the same thing. And create a face out of that. Or merge the faces, creating one face out of that, however you want to look at it. And the same thing here. Um, we'll be able to add a division right here. And if we go to vertices, just go to the back. E to extrude that vertex. And let's grab all four, make a face. Grab all these four, make a face. And do it there as well. And you can see we have the quad and a quad. Because this was one quad before, and now it's actually three, but don't tell anybody. <clears throat> so we can basically kind of adjust the flow right here and add mass. We could also weld that, but, you know, since I like doing things the hard way. Another option is if we were to add another division going up here, which eventually we probably will. So getting these to flow just right is the is the big thing. And there you go. Let's pull that in. trying to get these kind of smooth. And a faster way to do it is probably if I just grow that and smooth it once, maybe twice. And then just look at the ones you want to add detail to and rework them a little bit. But anyway, let's finish up that arm because this video is long. We've been going for a long time. Let's add a division right here and another one right here. Let's go to the front. Start tweaking these. I don't need to take take it that far, um, because the um, forearm uh, actually actually, as a matter of fact, leads up into. Oh, and I totally adjusted the wrong one, so undo all that. I want to start with these. actually goes up into the upper arm. So if I grab and move those, you'll see it popping out right there. And I'm just using those to interplay it a little bit. Make both of those, go to the front, pull them out a little. Not too, too much. And seeing those edges in green on that well, light, light colored background isn't helping that much. I'm going to take that in a little bit and that in. Actually, I want to undo both of those. I uh, might have to put another division in here where I take them in. Let's go to the top. Kind of smooth these out a little bit. If you see, if you see, well, if you're blind, you're probably not watching these videos. So that's probably the silliest statement I've ever said. If you see, um, as you can see, it's uh, quite sharp here. So I'm actually going to grab all those, grow it once, and smooth it once. Let's smooth it again. There we go. That's a little bit better. <coughs> 
pull those forward on Y. And let's use this one right here. We'll just take it in a little bit, faking a little bit of the geometry back here. And we'll pull these up a little. Whoops. Undo. There we go. And we don't have the needed or necessary geometry to really start doing that. But once we start adding the elbow in here, it will give us more geometry to help shape that a little bit more. Okay. Anyway, for the most part, that pretty much is going to do it for our arm at the moment. And once we might smooth it and grow it up a little bit more, but this video is taking a long time. So don't forget to save your scene, F2. Let's increase the increment. Save the file. Okay. And I want to thank everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.